Graham's pick up was superb. He's a strong Fire unit. On. Stood up in the tackle. Back to Bolton. Look at the move. Look at the spin. Shay Bolt. What a freak. Oh, come on. How was the balance? How was the skill? Just can't do that. Grabbed it out of the ruck, Bolton's got a clear path here, got a round one, magnificent right foot, no, I got it, Bolton seals the game. Well done by Lynch here in the ruck, just to get that ball into space. Here we had Bolton, all by the dogs, not to have someone standing there, Bolton just had a clear path to goal, and with his speed and skill made that look very easy, he's had a very, very good game, 20 disposals, two goals. Comes the Dusty, breaks the uh, tackle of Walt. Thought about the little handball, went to Bolton. Bolton gets around Doherty, shakes the tackle and kicks the goal. Got it! Tigers are going to win the game. As we see here, Dusty breaks one tackle. Almost gets a goal, gives a handball off. That's another broken tackle here. And just composure to put it through. We've seen in the last quarter that Richmond have got a couple goals just from little mistakes that either fatigue or under pressure from Carl. Doherty before with the fumble and they got stepped. That one there with two broken tackles. She just can't do that against a quality team like Richmond and expect to win the game. Where do they go from here with the footy? It's been a problem for them all night. 15 to 6 intercept marks the Giants way. Long ball for Jack Revolt. Floating in front, Bolton. Wants to get and go. Can go off a step and that's yeah. perfect. Really not backing themselves to bite that off. Watchin did brilliantly well. He will bite it off, but this is a dangerous place. Graham picks it up brilliantly. Inside 50, Bolton at the back. And finally, the Tigers have got a goal. And then they're able to convert. That has all been the work that they've put in for the last 10 minutes. That's why, BT, when we're talking about you put someone on Dale or or, uh, or McRae, or, McRae or, or Daniel, you don't, because the play's been up their half. They've finally got the reward for the work that they've done for the last 10 or so minutes. Here's this battle we're talking about, how they want to exit oh. and how Richmond want to dare them to exit because they want to do exactly that. Bolton winds up, he blasts away, and that's why. It's back to a one-goal oh. ball game. Cameron this time does operate against Lynch, stripped of it immediately. The Richmond goals, no one there left an open goal square. Put the head down, Bolton kicks it to that vacant lot at the top of the square and beautifully identified Brownie, it might have cost them a goal. Murphy's the one, isn't he? He needs to be back on the goal line. Just a young player there, not identifying it. Well, even there though, Dusty Martin, the most dangerous <laughs> player in the competition's goal side of all the Collingwood players, so it's just a lack of awareness. Completely avoidable. you, you got a player on the goal line there, you're taking an uncontested mark. Like his team, he's been a bit quiet the last couple of weeks, Shea Bolton, but he's up and about early here, has a goal to his name. Just arrived on the bench as we speak now, here go the Tigers. Bolton, got an open look here, 30 likes this, round the corner. Superb stuff from the Tigers. Well, from a mistake, Guthrie, see here, he's out there, he just he just coughs that ball up. No need to try and hit that handball, was never going to hit it. How good is this kid? Whoa. He's brilliant, isn't he? That took 13 seconds, PT. Yeah, that's incredible. Loston's the man they have to worry about. Takes it cleanly. They called to play on. There's a couple of little short targets that he had on offer. Rewald in front. Francis did pretty well. We know how clever he is. Not 15. Bolt, beautiful sidestep. Shea Bolt goals. He's got a couple. So you just got to keep the ball alive in the forward line. That's a dangerous kick into the corridor and we know Bolton is a quality finisher long time left in this game Pickett wrapped up Castagna walks away handball to Graham this had really hurt Bolton long and straight One thing Richmond do really well from those long down the line contests, they provide all this space at the back of it, so they love to run into it and use their handball game and drive through and really good active movement by Rewalt there, but that's a classic Richmond right goal from a long contest. Really interesting uh, reaction there by Shea Bolton. I'm not sure quite sure what that one is, BT. He's able to advance to 50, puts a long ball in the square. The numbers in favour. Look out! Up they go, Bolton! Wow. Where they
Ripper. And he was there for a while, BT, he wasn't was, he? He was, and he was one on three. He really was. We saw this last Friday night where he flew for a lot of balls. That was that was just well timed, <laughs> pure leap. Have a look at this. Way. That is a ripper, and he got the little ride yeah. elevation after the initial ride. We'll see lots of replays of that coming up over the next minute or so. Stay with us on that. Bolton will go back and kick the goal. The Tigers second, no problems. So have a look at this. Bolton elevating and then a little mini lift after that as well. This is a superb mark. On Blitzarves too, yeah. he's close to the Cats' tallest player. They had, their num they had the numbers there, the Cats, but they just allowed him a clean run at the footy. Yeah. No one put a hand on him. That's the best angle, I reckon. This is pretty good too. No, that's the best angle. Oh, yeah. That is, wow. <laughs> Back by the Weaver. Careful. Move forward by the Tigers. Bolton and then Cotchen. And he has the only goal of the game for the Tigers. Smith left it there and Bolton charges on through. The only man that was going to stop him was Dusty. Their second and it's fair to say they needed it. Absolutely they did. Just a, a little fumble there from Brody Smith. Shea Bolton only needs half a step to swoop on those loose balls and they did desperately needed that, the Tigers. Just put off enough by that fingertip off the pack. He's worried about the collision with a teammate too. Cody Smith just lost his Redmond. Home. Perkins, a slow start to the night, starting to get involved. Handballs to Langford, couldn't take it cleanly. Castagna gave it off. Caddy puts it to a bit of space. Collier Dawkins, bit of a high up and under. Coleman Jones asked to do a bit. Bolton. For him, it's shelling peace. This was labour intensive in the Richmond Ford half and Sometimes you've just got to get it in there and get a contest from your big forward, which Kelman Jones provided, and he's a classy player. Shea Bolton, a nice finish. A steadier for Richmond.